Greetings! In today's video, I'll be taking a look at Mary's Chinese watercolors, especially the set of 12 colors. I got this set from AliExpress for a little over 10 Canadian dollars. That's less than a dollar per tube, which is technically a really good price. It can be appealing to grab such an inexpensive set, but are the paints any good? The set came in a cardboard box with the usual branding from Mary's for this set. They are sold as Chinese painting colors. In the box, the tubes are nicely set in a cardboard tray. They are plastic tubes and caps. One of my red paint tubes had some paint on it, but it washed off without issues. I took out one of my plastic palettes and set out to fill it with the paints. Each tube is sealed with a small tab. The first two colors I opened behaved as I expected, but the third one was surprising. It spurted out colored liquid, not even clear binder. I had to work the tube in order to get some paint out. This happened with almost every color after that. I'm not used to paint separation occurring in this way. Usually the binder separates from the heavier pigments, so you get some clear yellow gummy liquid and then some really dense pigment paste. With Mary's paints here, I get a watery colored substance first that tends to spray everywhere, and then perhaps some more viscous paint. Also, through dealing with this, I realized that the tubes don't feel full at all. They are supposed to be 12 milliliters tubes, but they feel half full. As I set up the palette, I also noticed that the paint has a smell to it. It's the same kind of chemical, odd smell that is often present in inexpensive tube paints. When I was done, I set the palette to dry. The paints dried all sorts of ways. Some stayed soft and sticky, and some crackled. The most crackled one is the carmine color. If I shook the palette too much, the pieces would fly around in it. They all rewet relatively well and made for nice, strong colors on my chart. They still stink, though. Drying didn't take that away from them. Another thing that I want to talk about here is the color selection. Obviously, this is not a Western traditional color selection. It comes with one yellow, one green, a few blues, and a lot of reds. Many of the colors are opaque. Usually, these paints are used in traditional Chinese painting. There are techniques that involve using rice paper, mounting a finished painting on a sturdier base, painting on the back of the paper, and much, much more. My approach to these paints is to see if I can use them anyway, with the tools I usually use. The set has a phthalo blue, a carmine, and a yellow that can be used decently well as a primary triad. They mix quite cleanly and brightly. The other colors are more uncommon. There's an opaque light green and light blue, a few opaque red oranges and browns. The colors mixed quite well. I swatched them on B cotton paper and I thought they looked rather nice. I then proceeded to do a quick drawing and to paint it using these paints. They rewet well and I quite enjoyed painting with them, but here's a few things that I noticed while painting. It can be difficult to layer certain colors, or do wet in wet painting with them, due to their opacity. Also, they don't tend to move a lot when painted on a wet area. I like that the colors are strong and dilute well. I also noticed that one color, the rouge, I think, had some separation going on, not unlike granulation. 
Another thing to note is some of the opaque colors lighten as they dry. Since they are more opaque, they behave a bit like gouache in terms of color shift. So that's it for my review of these paints. The good things are that they are inexpensive and quite vibrant. The less good things are that they don't dry well in a palette, they stink, and the tubes separate weirdly and are not full. I would consider the color selection a neutral thing. These are sold as traditional Chinese colors, and the selection matches that practice. If you want a more traditionally Western-style palette, then this set shouldn't even be considered. Have you tried these before? What was your experience like? Let me know in the comments below. Take care, bye bye.